So we've looked at arithmetic sequences where they've got like a common um, difference. We've looked at geometric sequences where they've got a common ratio. Recursive definition is slightly different. So the recursive definition of a sequence is where you use past terms to determine what a future term would be. Uh, let's take a look at probably one of the more famous recursive number sequences or definition of. So this is the Fibonacci sequence. And if you don't already know, the way that you come up with the next number is to add these two numbers together. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is uh, 3. Oops, 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, and so on and so forth. Now, if we want to determine our formula, the way that we do it is say, what's my tn plus 1 going to be equal to? What's my nth term plus 1? So uh, the, let's say, the 15th term, or whatever it might be. So the way that we determine that is to say that, okay, you need to take, if this is tn plus 1, I need to take t to the n and add it to t to the n minus 1. Okay, this general formula is going to allow us to sort of build up the Fibonacci sequence that we've got here. So if I want to know what, uh, I want to do, uh, find out what t2 is, the second term, then that's going to be equal to tn, the term before it, that's term 1, plus tn minus 1, the term before that, term 0. Now term 1 is 1, and term 0 is the thing before that, which is just 0. Which means that term 2 is equal to 1. Now, if I wanted to know what term 3 was, I can build off of what I've just learnt, because I know that term 2, and I know what term 1 is. So term 2 is 1, and term 1 is 1, so term 3 is 2. And I can go, we can keep going forever, but we've got to sort of build up and up and up. If I want to know what term 4 is, I've got to know what term 3 is, and I add it to term 2. Uh, that's going to be term 3 is 2, add it to 1, so term 4 is going to be equal to 3. Alright, I'm going to do one that's, uh, so that's the, that's the recursive definition of the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, let's take a look at another recursive definition really quickly. Alright, here's a much more complicated recursive formula. Now the way that it's working is 2 times 3 minus 1 is equal to 5. And then 3 times 5 minus 2 is equal to 13, and 5 times 3 minus 3 is equal to 62. So I'll write that down really quickly. So multiply the last two, two terms together and subtract one more than you did in the previous term. So let's try this. It's going to be t to the n plus 1, so the next term is going to be equal to t to the n times t to the n minus 1, and then we need to multiply, we need to subtract something from that. Now, to find the third term, we had to do this times this minus 1. To find the fourth term, this is the fourth term here, we had to do minus 2. And to find the fifth term, we had to do minus 3. So we're subtracting 2 less than the term. So what that means is we need to subtract n minus 2. Okay, so there's a formula, a recursive formula for this one. t to the n plus 1 is equal to the previous term times the term before that minus the number of the term you're looking for minus 2. Oh, oopsie, actually, go back a little bit. The term we're looking for is n plus 1 because of the way we've written this formula. If the term we're looking for is n plus 1, then we need to do minus n plus 1 minus 2 which, when we neaten this up a little bit, we get t to the n times t to the n minus 1 um, minus n minus 1. Alright, that's the recursive definition of number sequences. A bit hard to get your head around.